Hi guys, uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at a an example of developing your IoT project um, using Python programming language alongside C programming language in the same project. Normally when you develop your projects using any of the most popular microcontrollers architectures, um, you're going to be doing it in C programming language. Uh, because C has a bunch of advantages and features, such as it's really efficient for memory handling and uh, it's, it's, really, it's, it's the closest to the machine as you can get in terms of handling memory and peripherals and libraries and drivers and that stuff. But you lack out the features of Python, which is the readability, which is the high-level language features, which is um, the OOP. Uh, Python is an object-oriented programming language. So what, what, what Xerinth Studio and what Xerinth System does is that it enables you to use both of these um, languages, programming languages. You get to use the features of both of these programming languages. You get to write whatever logic you'd like in Python and have it programmed to your microcontroller while also um, accessing uh, and running and uh, any function or any peripheral or any driver you'd like in the C language. So in the same project, you get to write whatever high-level logic you like in Python while also utilizing the efficiency of C programming language. As an example of handling uh, Python files alongside of C programming language files, we're going to be looking at an interrupt uh, routine example. Um, one of the features about Xerinth uh, tools is that it is hardware independent. So we're going to be looking at a generic uh, interrupt handler or interrupt service routine or interrupt driver handler, whatever you'd like to call it. But it's going to be abstract from the certain microcontroller that we are programming it in. As an example, we're going to be looking at just a button. We're going to attach the interrupt to a button and trigger it when we click on that button and see the output. For those who don't know uh, Xerinth, uh, Xerinth IDE, the one that I'm using right now, is actually a part of Xerinth Tools. Xerinth Tools are a set of tools that has a bunch of features. Well, first of all, being able to program your favorite microcontroller um, with C alongside Python programming language for efficiency and for using the features of both of these languages. You get to use a real-time uh, multi-threaded OS uh, using Python, so you don't have to deal with, for example, uh, handling the drivers of the real-time uh, of uh, of the free Artus, or you're not having to deal with uh, multi of the threading or the scheduling or of that stuff, any of that stuff. It's already implemented for you to use. Uh, you just have to write your high-level logic. You don't have to deal with all of these um, low-level hardware driver stuff. And you get to connect or integrate your device with any of the supported cloud services uh, with already written libraries for you to use. Uh, you get to connect your device, send data, receive data, or even uh, update your firmware uh, from the cloud. So the first step that you gotta do is that you gotta create, a, you have to create a project or a new project. So let me just name it something, anything, uh, Python. C. Okay, and this with the main Python file, um, the main code of the project have to copy and paste it from the main article. So right now I've got it in the clipboard. Uh, we're gonna run the project and then we're gonna go um, line by line in the code and we're gonna see uh, how do these lines actually um, make the connection between the Python files and the C files. Right now we only have the Python files. Uh, we're gonna add a file that's going to be from that menu add file. We're gonna name it C div just to match the code, but you can name it whatever you like. And the main uh, C code you're gonna find it in the article. Uh, I'm gonna put the link of the article in the description. Okay, so I've copied the C file or the C code from the article. Um, we're gonna connect the uh, our device. You can connect actually any of the supported devices. Right now, I have the ESP uh, Development Kit C, 
and as you connect the board you're gonna find that it is actually um, recognizable by the Xerion Studio Xerion Studio because I actually virtualized and I actually registered that device before but if you haven't registered that device before uh, you're gonna find a complete guide of doing that in the documentation of Xerion Studio I'm gonna put a link probably in the article about that we're gonna compile and uplink the code to the board okay so right now we're gonna compile and uplink the code uh, to the microcontroller that is the SP32 development kit okay so the code has been uploaded we can now open the console this is the serial console you can find the name of the uh, kit right here so the code basically um, sends a periodic signal that is the LED is blinking that is this LED the blue LED uh, it is blinking unless I trigger the interrupt and I trigger the interrupt by pressing the uh, button I've attached the interrupt of rising and falling edge both of them uh, to the right button of the development kit so when I click on it the interrupt is triggered regardless of whatever the microcontroller or the microprocessor is doing right now okay so how does this code actually works um, right here we're importing the streams which is the serial uh, library for Python um, so we're basically opening the serial port of the microcontroller to communicate with the PC uh, we're defining two functions uh, blink LED which basically just blinks the LED 0 the LED 0 uh, is defined in the pin map so what is LED 0? LED 0 is this is this LED um, the other function is uh, a C native function and this is something uh, specific for uh, Xerinth that is we are defining a function called init interrupt which initializes the interrupt but what it actually does is that it calls this function so where does this function um, is defined where is this function defined it's defined in C div dot C which is this file you can name it whatever you like of course and you can give it uh, the destination you like whether it is uh, in a folder or something uh, so the code starts with initializing the interrupt when we initialize the interrupt we're going to um, compile and run the init interrupt underscore c function which is in this file so what does this function do uh, it basically attaches the pin the interrupt to button 0 so where is button 0 button 0 in the pin map is this button it's on the right button the one that I clicked on uh, we're setting it on both rising and falling edge we're setting the ISR the interrupt service routine through this function we're setting the interrupt service routine through this function so basically when the interrupt is triggered it's just going to print something but of course you can have it do whatever you like after I initialize the interrupt service routine this uh, parameter is for the uh, time out something related to the bouncing or software debouncing we're not really I'm concerned with that right now uh, after I, I attach the interrupt to button 0 I'm gonna just print that interrupt initialized on button 0 and that's it I'm gonna return return ok this is if I am uh, the last line is used when I'm uh, checking for a return error or return ok if this function returns an error or if it is um, implemented uh, without any error okay so right now we initialize the interrupt and attach it to the button 0 we're gonna initialize that let 0 is an output try to blink the LED and then this infinite loop what it does is that it actually blinks the LED so in the Python file there is no mention of the interrupt the interrupt is defined in the C file the interrupt is attached in the C file to the pin and the ISR of that interrupt is also defined uh, in that same C file and this is just an example of uh, developing your logic uh, in Python and using the the 
features and the advantages of the C programming language. Uh, the other main advantage or the other thing that I'm trying to show you in this example is that uh, I didn't try the interrupt routine or the interrupt uh, driver for this microcontroller. In fact, these things are already there for you to use. You don't have to dig deep and look for the registers and look for the drivers of that stuff. It's already written for you to use it whatever you like. So this is a really, really uh, time-saving uh, feature. Okay, so I hope uh, that this was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, you are free. Uh, you're welcome to just put them in the comments or something. Thank you.